Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Ambition Right. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and be part of this family. Today's video is going to be me showing you my bomb twist out routine. I've been getting a couple requests to show you guys that. And it's kind of new and improved because I'm kind of trying out new products. So if you're interested in knowing my new twist out routine, then keep on watching guys. Right now my hair is in a mess. This is an old braid out. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like re-moisturize and show you my twist out routine all at the same time so the things that I'm gonna be using is a bottle of warm water I have low porosity hair and the best way to moisturize my hair is using low is using warm water my styling and moisturizing products would be um, the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Emma 4 Oil leave-in milk again low porosity milks are better than leave-in conditioners and then to help um, with my twisting definition, I'm going to use the same line, Twist Dividing Custard. And I've been trying a new edge control. I am loving this. The Miel Honey and Ginger Flexible Whole Edge Gel. Wet my hair. My hair is really dry. And we're just going to lightly detangle. I'm going to do like medium sized sections for my twist. We're going to use the hair milk, which is very thick. Oh my goodness, this feels so good. And as you see, it like instantly makes my curls pop and moisturizes my hair. The custard, looks like this is very thick as well. Just need a little bit of that. Notice that as my hair grows out, like my curl pattern is different now. Now that my hair is growing, and my hair is growing down as opposed to outward. I don't know, is that happening to anybody else? I feel like my curl pattern is just changing as my hair gets longer. I don't know. So when doing my twists, I honestly don't I don't try to do super defined parts because it's harder to fluff it out after. And I also don't have a method of how I do it. I just grab a decent amount of hair, moisturize, and just twist. Like, I don't have a method to it. And I feel like when you retwist or twist your hair in different parts and different sections, you don't have as much breakage. If you always, like, part your hair down the middle, have three braids on one side, three braids on the other side, like, if it's always robotic, your hair kind of... Um, gets more tangles and has more breakage because it's always in that uniformed style. So now my twists are done, looking nice and juicy and hydrated. I don't know how many I have, but you know. So what the back look like? This little braid in the center is something that I had like all weekend. I could do a tutorial on how I did it if you like. But now I'm going to use my edge control and put that along my edges to kind of just smooth it down some. So when it unravels, it's cute. But I also will need to dry it for about like 20 minutes. So now I'm going to unravel my twists. They feel really soft and hydrated. So I'm going to use my sweet almond oil to help me unravel my twist. Oh, actually, anyway. All right. I'm going to kind of just rub it along my twist. I really do not want any frizz. And then I kind of just twist it and grab it like that. So I go like this. Ooh, that one's kind of wet. Kind of is what it is. They're definitely still wet. I have a little prosty hair. I should have known better. But look at this definition. Look, look at this. It looks awesome. Like I said, my hair is still a little bit damp, but I'm going to let it separate where it naturally wants to. So, okay, you see this part here? You pull away and it has 
couple pieces it naturally wants to separate. That's how you separate your hair. You don't pull your hair to do things it doesn't want to do. I'm gonna grab my pick lightly and as you can see the front on this side especially on my left side is a different curl pattern it's more wavy it's more 3b while the front over here is wavy too but it's more like 3c it's so aggravating look at the definition look at the shine it has a great hold I can feel it but it's not crunchy at all oh, I'm loving the definition anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because I enjoyed it very much. I'd watch my own video again just to see these results all over again. So I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And watch any other videos you probably missed that I don't know. I don't know your life, but I do know that you should probably be watching all my videos. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.